Ah, uh, good, great, fantastic. All right, who we got? Are we up? Are we rolling? The uh, first depth chart came out today. And cool. Right now is number one center. What's it been like to see him work his way back? Uh, well, it's been good to see Brian get back out there. He's taken a really, he's had a really good mindset through the whole spring and now after the first couple of training camps. Uh, first depth chart, uh, to be honest with you, doesn't mean much right now. Is it, you know, what it's it's obviously something to talk about, but uh, there's competition everywhere. This is football, so uh, you know, everyone keeps showing up, doing your job, and uh, we'll get our best five guys out there. And but it's uh, just on a personal note to see Brian back out there. He's he's, he's worked his tail off, and it's uh, it's showing. Thank you. Oh, it's been uh, it's been awesome. Uh, Matthew's a uh, the water all over that. Sorry, Matthew's an awesome guy. Um, he's a great communicator, great leader. Um, you know, you couldn't ask for anything, anything more for a quarterback. And you know, we're just uh, trying to feel a uh, feel a rapport with uh, with him, how he likes to do things, and uh, you know, try to uh, you know be the best O line we can be. Rob, when when you guys especially get worked on a short field, the red zone goal line stuff. When Matthew starts to kind of sling it, maybe sidearm or that no look from a couple weeks back, is that something you can feel behind you, or do you hear it go by your head, or anything like that? Ah, uh, no, I have no idea. Uh, usually, you <laughs> watch it on film, or somebody goes, "Hey, you seen that pass today?" And I was like, "If, if I'm watching it, that means I'm turned at him, and that's not a good thing." So um, I'd much rather see it on film the next day. But you know, it's really cool to see. Obviously, he's been doing it uh, for a long time, and uh, you know, he's got some crazy, crazy angle arm throws and. You know, it's, it's fun to watch. What's he like in the huddle specifically? Uh, he's commanding, um, but in like a good, calm way. You know what I mean? Like when he comes in and starts talking, you, you know he, he knows what he's talking about. He knows the checks. He knows everything. And you know, coming to a new system, you know, you couldn't ask for couldn't ask for anything more. And uh, you know, it's I mean, so far up to date. It's been really nice. Rob, when you guys make that change at center at this stage of training camp after having one. Awesome. It's been a competition the whole time, so it's not really a change. It's just guys getting a certain percentage of reps, and so, okay. so, so like I said, really the first depth chart is not much, but guy, we're, we're just we're, we're really feeling things out right now. But, I guess sorry, what I'm getting at is wrong. that is that like a huge adjustment for you guys at all, or not really? No, um, obviously there's something to be said about getting a uh, good rapport with the five guys up front, yeah. um, but I think we got a uh, good enough front seven, front eight, eight guys depth to where. No matter what the combination is, I think everyone's got a good feel because uh, we talk a lot in meetings about how certain guys see it, how certain guys feel blocks, how they see blocks, how they see different movements, different rushes, things like that. So everyone's got a pretty good understanding about how things go. Obviously, if you're playing to someone you haven't played next to the whole time, you know that's obviously a, you got to feel that out. But you know, for me, it's been you know Corbs, Corbs and Bobby and. Uh, you know, obviously, I'm very, very, very comfortable with those guys. Gotten, gotten a good amount of reps with them, so um, you know, so far it's been good. Man. And then I noticed that you also have been taking a lot of time to help Max Kircher. I know it's not out of the ordinary for a veteran to help a rookie out by any means, but what in particular about him is, you know, I guess, are you is kind of gravitating you toward him, and what's he like? As well, he asks a lot of questions. <laughs> <laughs> no, but that's a good thing. Um, you know, obviously, it's it, it, it's a really cool program with him having literally so so little football experience. You know, he's obviously behind the eight ball a little bit when it comes to the NFL, but you know, he's a guy who uh, wants to learn, asks, he asks questions. And you know, I mean, there are no dumb questions out there. So whatever he asks, I'll answer and then try to give him my, my two cents. Or if I feel like I can't answer it in a certain way, you know, I can always send him to, uh, to the Godfather, to Wit. So we'll impart some wisdom on him. But uh, you know, I've, Max is an awesome dude, and it's a, it's a really cool thing. He's, uh, he's he, I mean, he's making he made leaps and bounds since um, since OTAs, and just seeing the way he's kind of mo moving his body as his, as an O lineman, it's 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 been fun to watch. To be honest with you, he's a good kid. <laughs> uh, you don't really notice it. You get a little, you can see the Velcro, but you know, I mean, then you see it on film, and you're like, wow, my head looks massive. But I mean, it, it doesn't. If it's, if it's gonna save an injury, you know, I'll look. A little silly all day, so we're uh, we're all good there. I mean, you guys have benefited it. I mean, not only for like Matthew, but some nobody's come down to you guys, but I uh, also like some questions and stuff. You think there? I mean, I haven't seen the data on that, so we'll, we'll see about that. But even just in terms of us getting fingers caught in there, you know, I mean, I've got usually four or five bruised fingernails from hitting helmets and stuff like that. So it's been a uh, dramatic decrease in fingernail bruises. So I guess that's you know you could call that something. So, but. I mean, they're fine.
it was a little silly, but I mean, it's kind of the way things are going. But like I said, if they save an injury, then I'm, I'm there all day. Well, this, um, this is your sixth year. Hard to believe that your sixth season with the team. Uh, how would you compare this training camp with um, the other ones? Was it five? Seven. 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 Yep. It's all right. Uh, you know, you know, it's uh, you know, time has flown. You know, kind of actually sit that back and relax before this training camp started. You know, uh, you know, it's cool, but you know, everyone always asks me, especially my uh, my family and some of my friends, just like, you know, how's it be to like to be like a real vet now? And I'm like, I can literally never be a real vet because of what? Because if you take my years, say it's seven, and then double it, and then add two more, then that's what's years of experience. You know what I mean? So I can never be a vet. Um, which is good because I'm always, uh, you know, I always, I always want to be the guy learning, asking with a whole bunch of questions he probably doesn't want to answer, but I'm gonna make him answer anyways. And um, uh, but it is pretty cool to see a lot of, uh, especially when we go around different teams, see a lot of guys that I've played with, had experience with in the past, and you know, kind of shoot the breeze a little bit. Thank you guys. Thanks, Thanks guys. Thanks, Appreciate it. Everybody. We'll send you the bill for the.